Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can submit a QKFS submission to Q Grants via the API. Please remember, you need to have your application key and application secret details entered into the settings and have your service agreement linked before you complete this step. When completing a QKFS submission, this includes both a forecast, which is done at the beginning of the term, and an acquittal, which is done at the end of the term or the quarter. For sessional kindies, your forecast is for a semester and your acquittal is for a term. To create a QKFS submission, click on your service menu and under kindergarten, click on QKFS submission. You're then going to click to create a new submission record. When completing a QKFS submission, there are three steps to this process. The first step is selecting the submission type, year, term. For, for kindergartens, you will select a semester and you also need to select your daily fee from the drop down box. If you have more than one program, you will need to complete this for each program listed below. Once this has been completed, you can click Save and Next. This will take you to the next step. It's going to give you a screenshot of the information that you are going to be submitting to Q Grants, listing out your children, teachers, KFS Plus and FTB children. For kindergarten services, it will also list the unknown enrolments. If there are any errors detected, for example, a child's address, a suburb may be missing, a postcode may be missing, a teacher may be missing, the errors will be listed below. You will need to complete those errors before you can move on to the next step. This is what your screen would look like if you did have any errors. So for example, this child is missing an address. To update this address, you can simply click on the edit child hyperlink and this will take you straight to the child's address tab. Enter in the address. Go back to the submission page, click on refresh and this will now update those errors. You are now ready to go to the next step. So you can click Save and Next. It now takes you to the simulated submission step, which means you are submitting to Q Grants, but in a temporarily submission format only, which will pick up any errors that Q Grants detects. This is not the true submission to Q Grants. You must complete the simulated submission before you can actually submit to Q Grants. So to complete this step, you're going to click Save and Submit to Q Grants. It now will tell you that it's passed, there are no errors, and you can now officially submit to Q Grants. Would just like to point out that in the saved status and in the simulated status, you have the ability to edit and to delete the record if required. Once it's actually submitted to Q Grants, the record is unable to be deleted. So to confirm that you want to submit this record, you're going to enter in the instruction text, which is finalise, and click yes. And now you have a saved submission record with a submitted date and time that has been submitted to Q Grants. It identifies if it's either a forecast or an acquittal. It will show the year and the term or semester if it's a session or kindy. And in the action column, you can have the ability to download the contingency report or the results report. For further information on our QKFS submission feature, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Kidsoft Customer Success Team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel.
for more tips on kids solve thank you <music>